I've got a I've got a question for you. Where where do we store most of our personal information these days? If you answered our phones, you are correct. They are no longer stored in a vault, in a safe, or in a filing cabinet. Now we have them on our person at all times. As magicians, this is really interesting because we can use uh, that private and personal information to gain reactions from a spectator. The downside of that is it's a little bit invasive, a little bit intrusive to enter someone's private life like that. And one thing magicians do not share regularly is what we carry in our cell phones. So allow me to demonstrate this using a deck of cards and it doesn't matter which card we choose, we'll choose any of the six of hearts here and to prove that we're gonna sign it in a way making it impossible for me to replicate. You guys can screenshot that, you can verify that all you like. In fact, we don't even need this card and we don't even need the deck, we'll leave that there. What we do need, however, is the magician's cell phone. And here's where it gets really interesting, is that inside this phone, usually, if you take a magician's cell phone out of the case, what you'll find is a small envelope. And inside that envelope is usually where the magician keeps all of his personal information. Now, this information might not mean anything to you, but to me, as a magician, it is incredibly revealing. Welcome to the video. Obviously, there's a trick and probably gonna comment anyways on what you think I did to, but you don't need to, because I already know how it's done. And that was made simply for your entertainment pleasure. Today's video is a little bit different because I wanted to showcase a few things, one of which is something that came in the mail, this here. That's right. <laughs> That's a Chris Ramsey U2's figure. Insane. I have an action figure, a vinyl figure. U2 is a company that does this with a bunch of YouTubers. They, they make them into these little toys that are beautifully packaged and beautifully done. Absolutely blown away by the quality and attention to detail as I'll showcase right now for you. If you wanna get your hands on this, uh, it launches on November 17th at 12 p.m. Pacific time, which is 3 p.m. November 17th Eastern time. They are absolutely limited, so once the sale ends, you will no longer be able to buy it. It is a pre-sale, and these will ship out, uh, I believe, towards the middle of March. If you want to win yourself one of these, also very simple, click the link below. It'll take you to a contest page. You have to do three things, pretty simple. Follow YouTube's on Twitter, go subscribe to their YouTube, and go follow their Reddit, and then you you have three chances to win one of these. And I'm sorry if you came here for the puzzles, we will get into that, I promise you, but please, please allow me to just showcase my own vinyl figure for a second because I'm so proud and I'm so happy the way this turned out. I designed this uh, with the team over at U2's. Purchasing this supports me directly. It's just one of the coolest things I've ever gotten. So here we go, this is the box. Check this out. This is <laughs> just a beautiful, beautiful packaging as you can see, a lot of little details here. Uh, you got me springing the springing the cards on the back. It says U2's here. We take it out of this casing. You have another box. Now this is a sample prototype that I have that will be moving around in there. You got, they made this whole box look like a puzzle box, which is really, really cool. And it says here, art lies in the performance, not the secret. Apparently something I've said in the past. I sound pretty wise, not gonna lie. Uh, I don't remember saying that, but that's great. That sounds a lot more like me. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Exactly sums it up. And you open this, and even on the inside here, let's get into it, which is really, really dope. Uh, and on the inside here, they've even printed some beautiful artwork from uh, the V2s that we put out, the first playing cards, which is dope. So a lot of really cool Easter eggs and attention to detail. And here's the vinyl figure himself. Like, guys, he even has my shoes. Look at, look at, he's got my shoes. Same, I'm wearing, I'm wearing the whole getup today, by the way. I'm, I got the pants, I got the shirt and everything. It, I'm, I'm geeking out just a little, okay? Let me have my moment. There you go, he's wearing the, uh, the first cap. He's got the orange shirt. Now, what really, really uh, impressed me was the tattoos, actually. The simplistic style tattoos. Uh, that they went with, you know, featured on the hands here. Even the, the V2s on the back, you got the ace, which is my ace from my playing cards, the Joker from my deck. I mean, this thing is cool, it's sturdy, it's just beautiful. I'm very, very happy with the way this turned out. So again, if you guys want it, check it out, link below. So these three puzzles are some of the wackiest packing puzzles I've ever seen. So a packing puzzle is basically exactly what it sounds like. You gotta pack 
a certain amount of objects into a container. Now this has been around for a long time, so the Japanese have perfected this art and so much so to an extent where it's become comical and just looks like ordinary everyday, everyday items, which I love. Like some of my favorite puzzles in the world are the ones that just look like a normal object. So first, uh, this is probably my favorite out of the three. Uh, this is, <laughs> this is a packing puzzle with, uh, this is basically a subway, uh, representing the subways in Japan because they can get completely stacked at rush hour. Like people are being, there's videos on the internet, people shoving them in with sticks to get in there during rush hour. And this kind of represents that, which is comical. I think it's hilarious that it's a glass for whatever reason. These, these people in, in here are quite uncomfortable. So if you take this lid off, there's something to note that this is the only way that this fits in here is there's only one way. So it's a very specific puzzle, even though it looks chaotic. Uh, you can see this lady here. She is crammed. We've all been that lady once, right? See, like I'm trying to put this back in right now and there's only one way it fits, which is fantastic. We got another lady here, which is very squished as well. We've got this guy here. This guy is just kind of squished up against his book sitting on his luggage. So the detail here is really, really nice. Everybody looks incredibly uncomfortable, which I think is hilarious. You even have this gentleman here uh, who's kind of squished up. <laughs> One of the funniest things is there's a child on the bottom. Somebody help that child. There's a child down there. It's just being trampled by the mob of uh, workers here. That is the Japanese subway puzzle. Important to note, there are no links below because these are vintage items. They're actually pretty rare and uncommon uh, that I found them through auctions. Uh, however, if you are interested in purchasing some puzzles, I always leave the link of my favorite puzzle shop, which is puzzlemaster.ca. That is below. If you click that link, that also supports me directly, so you can check that out. Uh, next, something also very, uh, very much aligned with that is another packing puzzle with, uh, this is, this is peach. Oh. These are peaches, which is, which is again, this looks so real to me. Like that, how delicious is that? It looks juicy and delicious. I just want to take a bite out of it. And uh, those peaches or orange slices maybe, I don't know. Yeah, probably oranges actually. Uh, they fit perfectly inside this glass. Again, such a weird item to have at home. And you know, whether it's on a desk or whether it's in your kitchen, you're gonna be fooled by this and thinking it's, it's an actual delicious dessert when it's just a puzzle. Brings me to the third and final puzzle. Uh, also really cool. I love the packaging on this one particularly. The packaging is very, uh, here, let's, let's read some of this. In this puzzle, you put the base into the glass, then assemble 10 pieces on top of the base to make a glass of beer. The puzzle's done when you can fit the foam properly on the beer. Lager beer. Actually, this is made by Toyo Glass, and Toyo does a lot of packing puzzles, so maybe you guys can check that out if you're interested. And so on the inside here of this one, this little beauty is, look at that. That looks like a glass of beer. Like from that angle, you know, if you're sitting, you're sitting kind of far, if I'm back here, if I'm back here, you're thinking, oh, that looks like a delicious beer, but no, no. That is indeed a packing puzzle. You can see the layers stacked up here once you take this top off. And so those layers are all different sizes and they pack into a certain way. There's 10 pieces. Kind of beautiful. Again, another glass, three glass packing puzzles that I personally think are beautiful. I love these as a conversation piece, as a work of art, as a puzzle. Um, they're just unusual. And I'm, I'm very attracted to unusual things, things that are out of the ordinary. So this one really got me. On the inside here, I bet this is the solution. That is correct. So they do provide you with a solution here. And they also provide you with a little game of Sudoku. Uh, looks like, I don't know, maybe it's not Sudoku. Looks like Sudoku, probably not Sudoku. But over here you got, yeah, you got the solution so it tells you exactly what to do. Very cool vintage vibe to it. Those are the three packing puzzles. Let me get this out of the way. It's like casting a shadow on my head. Sorry about that. Today's video is a bit mishmash, but I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to come on here and share some cool news about the U2s, also showcase some puzzles that I wouldn't necessarily make an entire video about individually. I thought all three, it's kind of cool to feature them. I do have a boatload of puzzles, again, that I won't make an entire video for, but if you guys want to see them showcased, uh, kind of like we did here, leave a like if this gets 20,000 likes, I'll do it again. 
very simple. And because this video is just filled with random things and information, and for those of you who stuck around to the end, these are the tuck cases for V4. Now we've got one white, and we've got one black edition. And that's embossed, very cool. I'll be doing a video on that when, uh, when the cards come in. Right now I only have the tuck cases, so I want to share that with you guys. Guys, if you like this again, leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff won't take up any more of your time. I hope you have a great freaking week, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday for another puzzle. Peace, around.